Yeah. Explain well. And speaking of fire and explosions and all <laughs> things like that, Merlin is back for a fourth series next month. And by the looks of all of this, things are not well in Camelot. Somewhere in all your books, guys, there must be something. All I'm asking for is a way to fight them. I fear that Daroka cannot be defeated by swords and arrows, sir. If I am right and the veil between the worlds is torn, then there's only one path open to us. To travel to the Isle of the Blessed and repair it. And how do I do that? I'm not sure. But for the tear to be created, it would have required a blood sacrifice to seal it. it will require another. Did it take you to grow your hair for that? <laughs> <laughs> I just shaved it off on Saturday. Of course, of course. <laughs> but what can we expect then from the new series? Well, I'm not allowed to tell you, really. Well, you... I, I, one thing I can tell you is it's in 35 mil now. We used right. to shoot in 16 mil, it's now in 35 mil, so it's going to look even better. But you can't tell us anything about the plot. No. It's just the format. Is there drama? <laughs> is there romance? Uh, there's, oh yes, there's lots of romance. There's, mm. uh, you really can't tell us, can mm. you? Well, I'm not very <laughs> sad. Don't, yeah, don't, don't worry, don't worry. You'd get into trouble. No, we don't want that. And it would spoil for yeah. these fans. Here. We've got some lovely shots going on yeah. in the background. Here, looks, I mean, it looks like, it does look like a Hollywood blockbuster. I mean, when you compare that to some of the stuff that you've done in the past, I mean, what is it like to actually work on? Well, it, it is very different from One Foot in the Grave. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's much longer shooting time, of course. We do 13 episodes at a time, which is quite a long, mm. yeah, a yeah, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And are you aware of how epic it's going to look when you're actually doing it? Because obviously there's lots of special effects and all that. Kind of well, stuff. the CGI, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons for the success of Merlin. The post-production is, is brilliant. Yeah, uh, yeah. They put a lot of CGI in, they put a lot of music in, and all that. Mm. Yeah. It's very special, I think. Mm. Well, as you say, it is incredibly successful, and we've got some big fans of Merlin now ready to ask you some questions. Ooh. We'll start with Kit Bryan, age six. Here oh. we are. Who would you like to make disappear? Oh, oh dear. Who would you who like would to make disappear? Oh, who would I... That's difficult. It is difficult. Yeah, I'll tell you who I'd like to make disappear. The person who is in charge of the railway ticketing system. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd got away from one foot in the grave. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I did a dispatches about the railways, and the ticketing system is crazy. I mean, you can't just go to the station now and buy a ticket. You've yeah. got to book weeks in advance, unless you want to pay a fortune. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, okay, I don't know if that was the answer that Kip was after, but anyway, we'll move on to Jakey <laughs> Allen, age six. <laughs> if you wanted to be someone for a day, who would it be? If, what was that? If you would like to be somebody for a day. If I would like would to be somebody be? for a day. Somebody definitely definitely doesn't work on the trains. Oh, oh, ah, dear, gosh, that's a difficult one. Um, I'd like to be someone who owns a very beautiful yacht in the Mediterranean. Oh, what Good about answer. That? And all these people who've asked questions are over there yes. in the audience. There they, they are. They are. Now, we've got a bit of a difficult question now ah. from Rafi Smith. He's age six. Have a look at this. Why did Uther destroy all of the dragons and only leave one? So, <sighs> why did Uther destroy all of the dragons and leave just one, Richard? Well, I think uh, he was thinking in terms that there, maybe one day there'd be a theme park. Uh, and so they right. had to keep one dragon to show what they were like. And he's, he's imprisoned this uh, dragon. Yeah. Okay. There we are. I can't think of a better answer. Rafi, does that answer your question? Thumbs up? Yes, it does. Yes. Thanks ever Great. so much. Indeed. I thought there'd be easy questions. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're really tough. Got... Wow. Hard audience, hard audience. Anyway, thanks to the children of Stevenson School for all of their questions. You were yes. brilliant. And you look fantastic. Well done. And the new series of Merlin begins on BBC One in October. Yeah, now it's one of the symbols of victory in World War II and holds a special place in our collective memory. Yes, this year it's celebrating its 75th anniversary and a new BBC documentary, former RAF cadet John Sargent pays tribute to the plane and her pilots.